Here are the main differences between these two field world monitors. This is the 5.5 inch F5 Pro X monitor. I have a video up here, wait, here about it. And this one is the F7 Plus monitor. It's a seven inch monitor. Now on paper, it's a one and a half inch difference, but uh, in actuality, it's quite a, a different, you know, size. Like look at this, look at the smaller size on the F5 here. And this F7 is just much, much bigger, even though it, you know, on paper, it doesn't seem like it should be, but it is. So with the bigger size comes obviously a slightly heavier monitor. It's like about a hundred grams of difference between these two in terms of weight. You also get a slightly higher resolution on the bigger monitor. You have 1920 by 1200 versus the 1920 by 1080 on the smaller F5 Pro X monitor. Now, when I was using both of these to shoot live events, I didn't really notice too much of a difference in between the weight differences and also the resolution differences. The main difference that was very noticeable was just how much more screen I could see on the bigger monitor, the F7 Plus. Usually when I'm shooting live events, I have my gimbal setup right here and then the monitor is like on the back of you know the handle of the gimbal and so I'm literally like two or three inches away from the actual monitor so it's not like extremely helpful in those situations where I am already very close to the monitor but what is gonna help is if you are doing like underslung mode so if I'm underslung mode the screen is a little bit further away a smaller monitor would make it a little bit harder to see the entire image versus like a bigger monitor I would have a much easier time seeing exactly what I'm framing because when I'm delivering these uh, live event videos, I'm delivering in a nine by 16 format. I have these center guidelines uh, in the middle of my screen so that I can clearly see what's going to be shown uh, in the edit. It's a lot easier for me to see what I am framing up on the seven inch monitor when I'm in underslung mode because the monitor's a little bit farther away. A bigger monitor would definitely help me visualize and kind of see what I am actually shooting. And like I said, the weight difference is only about 100 grams. It's just that the F5 Pro X makes the whole setup a little bit more compact versus the F7 Plus, it will kind of make it a little bit more bulky because it's such a large monitor. So I prefer having a smaller monitor that takes up less real estate on a already kind of like chunky, big setup like my gimbal. The second main difference between these two monitors is that the F5 Pro X supports an HDMI signal of UHD 4K up to 30 frames per second, but the F7 Plus actually supports an HDMI signal of UHD 4K and also DCI 4K all the way up to 60 frames per second. For me, that's not too big of a deal. As long as I can see the screen and it has the standard viewing assist features, I am good to go. Now for people who do actually need the DCI or the UHD 4K up to 60 frames per second, second, the F7 Plus is definitely the way to go. Now, when you're talking about usability in outdoor situations, which is what I am really using it for, shooting under broad sunlight. The F5 Pro X has a screen brightness level of 1600 nits versus the 1200 nits on the F7 Plus. So in outdoor situations, the F7 Plus is usable, but at certain angles, you know, when the sun hits just at the right angle on the F7 Plus, it does kind of wash out the uh, image a little bit um, and I'm not able to clearly see my center frames and stuff like that. Is it a huge deal? Kind of, not really. Um, it's not that big of a deal. I can kind of like reposition, readjust the, the screen. Um, is it kind of annoying to do? Yeah, kind of. In those situations, I definitely would want something like the F5 Pro X, not just because of its higher brightness. The 1600 nit does really, really help, but the F5 Pro X actually includes the sun hood attachment in the box versus the F7 Plus doesn't come with a sun hood, unfortunately. And I think you can tell the difference between these two monitors, the brightness between these two. Like, look at the how bright this guy is. When you're in broad daylight, one of them is definitely gonna be much brighter. So you're gonna have an easier time viewing this outdoors, especially with that sun hood covering and blocking most of that sunlight. Now, both of these monitors support loading in LUTs. The way that you do it, however, on these two monitors is a little bit different. On the bottom of the F7 Plus, you have an SD card slot where you can actually put an SD card in and you can load your LUTs through it that way. On the F5 Pro X, you load it in via USB-C to your computer. So it's a little bit slightly different way of uh, loading in LUTs. For me, not too big of a deal. I don't think this is gonna be a very high thing for a lot of people because it's such an easy way to load LUTs either way. Now, battery life on both of these monitors are very similar. Um, although on the F7 Plus, when I was shooting it, uh, it was a very hot day. 
I had a transmitter on the back of it, so it was drawing power not only from the monitor itself, but also on that transmitter system that I had on the back of it. So that would drain the battery a little bit more. Now the real world usage that I got from a fully charged MPF battery was about one and a half batteries for about two, two and a half hours of shooting time versus the F5 Pro X. When I was shooting with it, I didn't have the transmitter system on the back of it. I was just using the monitor and I went through one and a half batteries on a four hour shoot using the monitor. So not the most scientific comparison because I had more accessories on the back of this monitor drawing power from it versus on the F5 Pro X didn't have any accessories. It was just a monitor itself. So take that as you may, I will say that if I didn't have the accessory in the back and the temperatures during that day were you know, a little bit cooler, I think I would have gotten a lot more use out of one battery. I'm confident that if I bring just you know two or three of these big chunky MPF batteries that uh, it would last me the entire day on like an eight hour shoot or something. Okay, so one of the last differences I wanna to touch on is the menu buttons on top. The F5 Pro X actually has physical buttons on top for like menu, the up and down selecting, it has a touchscreen lock button. It also has quick access buttons on the top versus the F7 Plus only has a menu scroll wheel thing. Obviously you can do the touchscreen. You can just you know tap on the screen. Both of these are touchscreens, but I like the option of having more buttons on the top, especially the quick access buttons on top. You can set it to like peaking or uh, one to one zoom or like a two to one zoom where you can just quickly access those features uh, via pressing a button on top of the monitor. I like that a lot more than having no buttons on top of the F7 Plus. So, you know, if that's important for you, like it is important for me, that would be one of the bigger differences between these two monitors. Now, otherwise, everything else is gonna be the same. You have the same viewing assist features that I didn't really find any differences between those. The ports are the same. You have HDMI in, out, DC 12 volts in, uh, eight volts out. You have the USB-C at the bottom. Um, you have some ventilation on the back of it. You have the same dummy battery plates that allows you to attach any wireless transmission systems on the back of it. You have the quarter inch mounting points on the top and the side and the bottom as well. So pretty much everything is the same. Oh, and of course the biggest difference between these two guys is gonna be the price. Uh, the F5 Pro X, the maxed out most kitted version of this monitor comes out to be like 180 bucks USD versus the F7 Plus comes out to be 240 bucks USD. And that doesn't include like a bag or like a sun hood or anything like that. It just comes with the basic accessories for the monitor. So the final question is, which one should you get? Is it worth it to get the bigger monitor, more screen real estate, sees things more clearer? Uh, or is it better to just have a more compact monitor like the F5 Pro X? For me personally, I'm just gonna be basing it off of what I need. I like my rigs to be a lot more compact. I like smaller, tighter, cleaner setups versus like a bigger bulkier setup. I've said it in my video about the F5 Pro X. I like smaller monitors. I don't need like a whole iPad in front of my face to see what I'm shooting. I can see, however, a scenario or scenarios where I am shooting locked off on a tripod where I'm shooting in a studio with a backdrop, shooting products or whatever, or I'm shooting something like an interview setup where I have everything on tripods and I don't need to be moving things around. I don't need to be running on a gimbal all the time. In those cases, I might actually run a bigger monitor just to see everything a lot more clearly. Being outdoors a lot, shooting weddings, shooting live events, I would like to have the option of having that sun hood and also having a brighter screen to work with. But if you're someone who doesn't mind a bigger setup, a slightly bulkier setup, you don't care about that, you just want a bigger screen so you can see things more clearly, then the F7 Plus is definitely gonna be the monitor for you. That's it for this video. I'll leave links down below for these two monitors in the description and you guys can check out which one fits your workflow better. If you have any comments or questions about either of these monitors, I will do my best to answer them in the comments. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.